Hello everyone. Welcome to a Light and Word Save Souls Devotion with Rhapsody of Realities. The topic for today is called Prayer and the Spoken Word. I'm going to be coming from Ephesians chapter 6, verse 17 in the New Testament. The word and the devotion reads, And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. In Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 through 18, everything the Apostle Paul listed was a protective part of our armor. The only offensive tool is the sword of the Spirit, which is the rhema of God, the Word of God, that spoken from your mouth, the outbreathing of the inspired Word of God for the hour and the season. This is akin to the Apostle's John description of the Lord's revelation in chapter 1, verse 16. Out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword. We find a similar expression in Revelation chapter 2, verse 16. I will come unto thee quickly, and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. This doesn't mean a sword protrudes out of his mouth. Rather, it refers to the word of God. Now observe the connection between the 17th and the 18th verse of Ephesians 6. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. It says, while you're declaring the Word, getting on the offense against the adversary, pray for all saints. He's emphasizing prayer and the spoken Word. So declare God's Word always and pray that God's people are strengthened and emboldened to continually to take their place as agents of change in the nations of the world. That is the end of the devotion for today. Here is a little encouraging prayer. The Heavenly Father, we are fully equipped and fortified with the whole arm of God, strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Your word from our lips prevail against adverse circumstances, producing righteousness, and salvation, subduing darkness and evil in all manipulation of Satan, in Jesus' name. Now before I go, I'm going to extend an invitation to those that have not yet received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And Romans chapter 10 verse 13 says, Whomever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And before you become fully equipped and fortified with the whole armor of God, and speak the word of God against the adverse circumstances producing righteousness and salvation and subduing darkness and evil in all manipulation of Satan, you must be born again. And the reason being is because Satan is the God of this world. Because a very long time ago, a man named Adam gave up his rights to Satan. And because he gave his rights up to Satan, he became gods of this world and sin is in the world because of him. Everybody was born into a sinful world. And because we are born into a sinful world, we are to be born again. God only deals with the spirit of man, not the flesh of man. So we must be born again in our spirit. And once you be born again in your spirit, you have all power within you. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world, which is Jesus Christ that lives in you. And everything has to obey the power of God that lives in you. And then you will be able to pray for others. And then you will be able to spread the gospel to others and lead others into salvation. Now, I would love for you to say this prayer after me, this invitation that I'm extending out to you. It's not by feelings or emotions, meaning through the flesh, but it's by faith and belief without you even ever seeing Jesus, but you believe in what you heard. Even though you never saw Jesus before, but because of what you heard, you believed. So say this prayer after me. Say, O oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I believe he died on the cross to save my soul. I believe God raised him from the dead. And he is alive today. I confess with my mouth. 
that Jesus Christ is Lord of my life. I receive by faith eternal life into my heart. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I believe I have eternal life now. I am a child of God. In Jesus' name. Now, if you said that prayer behind me, believe me, God heard you. He answered you. And you are born again. Welcome, welcome, welcome into the kingdom of God. Now, you definitely can use the word of God against the adversary, against your circumstances and your situation. And the manipulation of Satan you don't never have to be under anymore. And you can subdue all evil darkness of spirits that try to come against you. And you can also lead people unto Christ. As you just did the prayer to receive them, they could do the same thing. It does not matter whatever they have done in their lives or even in their past tense. God could save any and everyone. It doesn't matter what you've done. God sent his only son, his beloved son, which is Jesus, to be an ultimate sacrifice for the whole world to be saved. Not to condemn the world, but that everyone could be saved through him. And God rose him up on the third day with all power and victory in his hand. So he lives forever. And because he lives, when you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior to your heart, you will live forever, eternally, eternal life. People don't understand there's a life after this life that they live. And that's the real destination place where you're going to stay forever. Because eternity means forever. So I hope you make the right choice today to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. To have eternal life that God has promised you. But if you do not, you will go to different direction where a place that was never made for us. But it was made for Satan and his angels. And if you keep following that way and not receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, that's the road you're going to face. And that's the road you will take and that's the road you will end up. You're going to face the same fate Satan is. As being in a lake of fire forever for eternity. And there is no way from that point God will help you. Because you already made that choice when you was alive on earth. So please make the right decision. Make it now. Because the time is here and the hour has come. And the Lord is coming back really soon. And when he comes back and nobody is ready. I just hope that you guys will be ready. Again, you can be saved again through the rap after the rapture is gone. But it's going to be harder. So that's why we're actually calling out to those that have not yet received Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. So that they can actually have that opportunity to be saved and have life eternally. Sorry I took a little long, but I feel that this needs to be said. And I hope you all listen. But y'all all have a beautiful, beautiful day. Talk to you all soon.